Thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully it helps anyone trying to solo the Story Mission Act 4. I'm going to briefly outline some tips for preparing to go in. Here's my starting loadout. Here's what I go into the boss fight with. I made a mistake here taking a turret mod as I didn't actually find a turret. So I could have taken more plates or self revives. If you want to skip the prep, there'll be a bookmark to skip to the boss fight. So as soon as you load in, look for the nearest vehicle. Go and grab your vehicle and then look for the nearest cargo contract in tier 2. While you're travelling around between missions, always check any loot caches that you find because you might get lucky with some perks or self revives. When you're doing the missions, save any self revives that you get because we're going to want to buy those later anyway. So if you get them for free, that's much better. If you can't find cargo missions, then do bounty missions. Use a tier 2 pack a punch crystal on your gun and you should be able to take these out. If you get the minutes, just kite them around a bit. Keep shooting at them. Try to save the legendary ether tool that you brought in and save the ray gun and the flawless crystal that you brought in just in case things aren't going well and you're not getting enough money and you want to start again then you can take those items back out with you but for everything else we're just saving up enough money to be able to stop at a shop and buy some sentry turrets we want to take two sentry turrets in with us so make sure you have two in your backpack. Then we want to have 15k to be able to tier 3 pack a punch our legendary weapon. So come into the tier 3 zone, throw a decoy grenade. I was near a ammo box so I just grabbed some more then head up and pack a punch your gun and then just get back in your vehicle and get straight back out. Throw another decoy so that you can get in your vehicle safely and get back out. If your vehicle's taking a bit of damage on your first run in then just head back out to tier 2. Repair up at a gas station. Uh, once you're all repaired, just head back into the tier 3 zone and use the Wonder Fizz machine to buy the rest of your perks. Okay, what we're going to do now is head back out to tier 1. What we want to do is get four chunks of flesh. If there's an escort mission in tier 1, go and do that. If you just stand on top of the vehicle and don't kill the enemies, let the truck run the enemies over, there's a good chance that you'll get some flesh on the ground from them. Once you've picked up some flesh, you're going to need to start using your ray gun to make room in your bag. So use your ray gun, use the tier 3 pack-a-punch pistol, and then when you finally run out of space, you can use your legendary ether tool, because we have all the parts we need to start the mission now. Head back into tier 3 go and get the dog by putting the four pieces of flesh into the dog house once you've got the dog get back in your vehicle and we're going to head back out to a tier two shop and we're going to spend the rest of our cash on self revives and spare armor plates Once you've got everything then head over to this portal on the edge of the tier 3 zone, it's on the south side, just interact with the anomaly here and then bring up your map and vote yes to go in. Ok 
Okay, once inside, you're going to keep heading straight down this bridge here, and then you'll start getting some objective markers come up. You'll immediately come up against enemies. Don't try and take the disciples out, focus them as much as possible because they'll buff all the enemies around you. So take them out first, that's going to make it easier for you. Uh, So I made a mistake here, and there was a rope ladder to your left. I thought we had to go through here, but it's actually a, there's actually a rope ladder up on the left hand side that you want to take. Go and interact with the first seal. You'll see a ring of fire around the outer edge. You want to kill all the zombies inside that ring if you can. Okay, once that's complete then you want to head up the stairs to the next objective. head up these stairs here and just go straight up. Okay, so when you head into the room, activate the seal again. And then just kill the zombies within the area. You can see like a frost area around the outer edge. Just make sure they're inside. Your dog is going to stop some of them coming in, which, if that's the case, then just switch to the other side and let the zombies come in and kill them. It might take a little bit longer, but you'll be at least a bit safer with the dog. Okay, as soon as that one's done, we're going to head to the next one. If you follow the path I take here, you'll be able to parachute straight into the next objective. Finish up this objective, put any armor plates in, pick some up off the floor if you've got any, and then we'll head to the last objective. Now this one was quite a bit of a run, but um, there's no way around it, so just keep heading towards it. You just follow the road along and you'll eventually come to this point. Activate the seal again, and again we have a ring around the outside. We want to kill the zombies within it. spare plates and then we're going to head to the final objective. I did have a look around the edge of the map here and found a portal which I could use. You should look for the same one to make getting to the, uh, the objective a little bit quicker. So I was looking around for a good spot to take the fight from here and uh, decided on th this building here might be good cover. Go down to the beach first. I was going to go down and clear it, but it looks like it started the fight just by being over the beach. There is an ammo cache down here as well that you can use. So these purple orbs are what you're going to want to focus 
when they appear because they are going to take your armor really quick and they take a lot of your health as well once your armor's down. So you really need to focus these. If you get thrown up in the air, just use your parachute to come back down. Now realize that when the worm is under the ground, you don't want to be up the top here because he will try and spawn on the road, which is not where we want him to be. We want him to be down on the beach. Put your sentry turrets on. I'm going to show you where to put, place those in a minute, but we need to get the worm to move back down to the beach first. So headed down to the beach. Tunnels back underground again, then head back up the top. And this is where you want to place the sentries, one looking one way and one looking the other. This just helps deal with zombies while you're focusing on the boss. So it seems like at this point the dog was a good distraction because the orbs were focusing the dog and I think the boss was as well. I decided to try out the jug suit here and see how much damage it was going to do to the boss. Turns out it wasn't a great deal. Although I didn't exactly maximise the amount of time I used it on him because uh, he went underground just as I picked it up. Also tried out the ray gun to see if there was much difference in damage. Didn't seem like there was. And then having the main gun in my hand made it easier to deal with the ether orbs. I got hit by the ether orbs and his lightning attack at this point. This is where I decided that staying up the top and fighting and taking the fight from up here was going to be the best bet. And in fact I found that being up here his laser attack never really hit me. So I recommend staying up the top here as much as possible. And then when he's moving around try firing at the ground near him with your, with your ray gun. And standing near the front here ten tended to stop him from spawning at the top and kept him on the beach. So just keep dealing with the orbs and as soon as the orbs are gone go back to dealing with the boss. And eventually you'll get his health down. Yeah, and once the fight's over, don't forget to go to the reward rift and grab the item out of there before leaving. So I hope this helped you get it done solo, and if not, I hope you give some good tips for if you are working with a team, just to make it as easy as possible.